Hey hello hackers a uh, welcome to hacker associate in this section we are going to learn about azure round and this is a part 2 of the azure round so in part number 1 we have discussed about how to collect a data using a normal user in this section we are going to learn about conditional access policies as well as how to collect a data from an mfa user multi factor authentication right from if you have a user or in your active directory we am talking about mfa user from that user how you can collect the data there is basically a case we are going to decode okay in this particular video so let's get started so here is the topic which i want to discuss today uh, azure round now we are going to deal with the multi factor authentication and conditional access policy so in that case how we are going to handle right that may be the question okay i think most of the people generally asking to me So in this particular case, I'm going to guide you how you can do step by step and how you're going to execute same thing on your environment. So first, okay, you need a PowerShell. So if you're using a Windows uh, system, PowerShell is inbuilt. You can use the PowerShell. Otherwise, you can install PowerShell in your environment. So I'm using a Mac system. You can see clearly this is the Mac system. Let me just close this part and here I'm going to edit PWSS. That's how okay you can start PowerShell. Okay. remember this is a part 2 uh, if you didn't uh, basically watch part number 1 please go ahead and you can watch part 1 video and then come to this particular point so here okay i started powershell and this is a part of offensive cloud penetration testing for more information you can check on our official website hackerassociate.com so how to handle this part right maybe this is the question coming in your mind so first you can simple copy this part and again what i need to do here is let me just do control c or control c or exit from here i need to go to the desktop where my azure round binary is located so let me go to the desktop go here and just type here uh, azure attack and then ls we can see azure round mac os which, which will be going to use the binary so i have installed you know mac binary in my system so same way if you are using windows machine or linux machine same way you can install accordingly So let me check okay it is working perfectly or not. So if you just type here minus h, and here you can see is working perfectly. Right, so it is working perfect. This is the first stage. Okay, I have discussed already in the part number one. Now next step. So first what you can do is you can start PowerShell like this pwsh. Okay, and you can simply copy this part and paste here, and then. enter and here okay you can see clearly we we got some you know response like user code and the device code so what you need to do here is we need to focus on this code actually user code so you need to log in okay to this uh, microsoft device login so copy this link and open okay your any browser so i'm going to use safari for this and i need to enter the code let me copy the code from here and then next and you can see this is the user okay like which i am going to use this is the my multi factor authentication user mfa user just click on this user enter your password and then sign in you can see like we are successfully authenticated okay to our active directory and again i need to finish that handshake so let me go to my a uh, phone okay and i'm going to allow this sign in so is the 82 so let me do the same thing okay in my system so i need to enter 82 as a number and click here yes so it is done and shortly you will see the message call approved and now i can simply click on continue this is the first stage okay you need to perform with the help of powershell so when it is done you can simply close this part and you can again go back to the terminal second case what you need to do here is enter the code you generated from the above powershell script that we have already done it follow the step in the browser to authenticate as an azure ad user and approve the device code flow request that we have done it so when done we need to uh, again copy this particular section and this code and everything i am going to write okay in the description you can directly copy from the description and you can add okay in your cheat sheet i can copy from here and again i am going to add okay this particular code and you can clearly see that okay we got okay refresh token that exactly we need okay for our assessment right this is the refresh token we need remember we need to copy the refresh token so i can simply go to the sublime open a new tab and i can simply add okay this one a refresh token and you can see clearly 
there are some spaces okay i need to remove okay so i need to check okay like this part you can see is added now again i need to remove this one spaces what i can do i can copy so just copy this refresh token and remove this all the spaces part okay from here so i can simply you know uh, search in this case so let me go to the top area and remove this as well okay now i can use control f and you can see this is the spaces right i can remove all this this is everything i'm doing okay using sublime see here right and i'm just clicking here find all and you can see selected and you can delete it and you can see now exactly we have the same token right which you can clearly see that it is it start with e you can see start with e you can see start with b it is start with b and so on right that's how you basically you know do some kind of troubleshooting so once we have the token you can copy this token okay and paste on the terminal now third command okay we need to execute so this is the third command so once you have done this particular part we need to copy the refresh token from this and we need to focus on this command so what exactly we are going to do so we want to collect the data so that data we can basically further we can use okay for penetration test or we can say further privilege escalation that's how azure on basically known for right azure on known for okay what is a data you know collection okay whatever okay you have created the service and everything and based on your permission going to collect the data now based on the data we need to perform enumeration based on the enumeration we need to go to the vulnerability assessment misconfiguration and further finding the attack path and then based on the attack path we need to further move into the other direction this is a long process that part we'll discuss in the part number 3 but here okay i'm going to focus on okay just one particular thing is how to collect the data using an mfa user so now what we can do next right so now we need to execute the binary this one azure around binary and you can use minus r there is basically refresh token and you can add the refresh token in double quote so we can copy this command directly okay or you can simple go ahead and open a new tab so i'm going to open a new tab i'm going to exit from here and i can go here this part and simple just type here sudo dot slash azure round minus h you can see is working perfectly always check okay the binary is working perfectly or not so once you execute this part okay you can simple you know run this command with minus r option which is the refresh token okay so once you have the refresh token you can simple you know go to sublime and you can arrange in a proper manner this is the basically the refresh token now we can add okay this refresh token here with minus r double quotes and we can simple copy from here there is a refresh token paste here properly uh, the refresh token you know successfully added and after that okay we need to uh, add our tenant so let me just type here the list command and just type here minus minus uh, tenant i can directly copy each and everything from here and paste here right so if you just see here okay in the tenant section in our case the tenant is hacksecond.com in our case this is our tenant hacksecond.com this is our active directory okay and after that okay we can simply just type output 2.json so is output 2.json and press enter if everything okay it going to create an output file so press enter enter the password and you can clearly see that okay we are able to collect the data avoid any error okay if you are able to see okay on the terminal that is completely okay and you can clearly see that okay we have a data now and if you just see ls command you can see clearly we have a output.json you can also do cat command output.json so in my case i have already done okay this part so this is the first i have when i tried okay like i created the output.json now we have output2.json so this particular file we need to transfer okay in kali and with the help of blur down we are going to analyze the data so let's go ahead and then check out all this information so we can simple go to the kali machine here is the kali okay so that's how you can basically you know collect a data okay from an mfa user excellent approach okay you must use okay in your environment in order to find the attack path in your azure platform 
so in this case if you just go to uh, the desktop here in my case let me just go for a day ignore this part and i need to go to the azure folder which is here right and we can simply go here output.json let me start my bot here's my bot and drag it here you can see is added output.json here i'll close here and then i can simply open your terminal and just type here sudo neo4j start and you can see it started same way i can start sudo blur down and here you go so it is working okay so this is basically the tool i have discussed okay this thing okay in many many time my previous videos so please have a look into this if you are not aware about blur down so in this case we need to upload a data from this option and we can simply go to our desktop area so go to that other location we can go to again other location computer we go to the home our user account uh, desktop and here we will select the file which is output to dot json so here is a file we can select open and let's see we can see successfully uploaded and now we will be able to analyze the data and then further we will find the attack path that exactly i'm going to cover okay in the coming video so if you simple search here okay like example it's a uh, default directory you can see here we have a default directory available there and when you click here okay in this area further let me cross it and you can see we have a different different attributes okay in this area right that exactly i'm going to cover okay in my next video i hope you uh, like this particular video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe it okay that will motivate us to record a video like that i hope you understand the topic called um, azure round how to extract basically data from an mfa user and about conditional access policy thank you so much uh, have a great day and see you in the next hacking episode